All, you need to know about the new education policy of India. 2020. In this video, we will come to know, what is NPE? Why this change is required? What are the things that are included in this policy? And what are the merits and demerits of the policy? So, what is National Policy on Education, NPE? NPE is a policy formulated by the Government of India to promote education amongst India's people. The policy covers rudimentary education to colleges in both rural and urban India. The Ministry of Human Resource Development will be renamed as the Ministry of Education. Why this change is required? As we all know, change is the only constant. We need to improve, learn, and adapt new things in order to match the changing environment. Many things point to the need for meaningful change in education. We have progressed with time. However, we still have not been able to move away from rote learning. Learners must not only develop what they know, but also skills, attitudes, and values. It helps them be capable people and that's the reason why this policy is born. What are the main features of the new education policy 2020? New pedagogical and curricular structure of school education, 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. 3 years in preschool and 12 years in school. The age groups 3 to 8 years, foundational stage, 8 to 11, preparatory, 11 to 14, middle, and 14 to 18, secondary. This brings early childhood education under the ambit of formal schooling. The new policy is set to focus on vocational studies. Assessment reforms with 360-degree holistic progress card, tracking student progress for achieving learning outcomes. Academic bank of credits to be established to facilitate transfer of credits. If for any reason you could not able to complete your course, then the previous years will not be wasted, you can join after a break. Now let's analyze the merits of the educational policy. According to a new policy, 6% of GDP will be spent on the education sector now. Hence, more emphasis on quality education. Teachers are often considered as second parents. They play the most important role in schools and hence, they should be given the best of class training. Teachers to be prepared for assessment reforms by 2023. This will help in improving the quality of teachers. All schools and colleges will have the same subjects and the same syllabus across the whole country. So need to worry if any student transferred to one state to another for any reason. The policy will free students from the burden of school bags to effective learning. This will help students to understand the concepts better. They will also be able to apply them better. It focuses on what to think, how to think. Now, students will have the flexibility of choice of subjects. It will help students to compete globally. Students will be able to learn coding from class 6th and this will prepare students for the innovations. The future lies in technology. Embracing technology will surely make a huge difference. We all know we have incepted in the era of the fourth industrial revolution. Internships will be given to students and this will help students to get practical knowledge. National Testing Agency, NTA, will conduct a common entrance examination. With this exam, students can get admission to universities across the country. Just like in a bank we can have multiple accounts. In college we can save credits for the students like one-year certificate, two years diploma, three-year degree-wise. Top 100 foreign universities to be allowed to establish their branches in India. So, what are the demerits of this policy? Now, teaching will be done in regional languages till class 5. It is relatively a good decision to stimulate theatrical language but declaring it as a medium of teaching doesn't seem to be a good idea. If a student will move from one state the other, may face the problem of language. Subscribe to know more about such information.